Hey everybody, it's David. Good to be with you via video and uh, just tell you why I'm putting this video together. I've been talking with a number of people here at Crosspoint who have either started new ministries or are learning new skills and a number of times I have thought to myself, man, it'd be really good if I could walk them through the discipleship square. And so that's the purpose of this video today is to walk you through the discipleship square. So what is that? Well, it is a tool that I got from a guy named Mike Breen. He's an author and a Christian leader that I've been following for some time. And uh, it's just a very helpful lens for the different steps of acquiring a new skill or uh, learning a new ministry. And so I don't know about you, but sometimes for me, when I have language to put on what I'm feeling and sensing, it definitely helps me to pace myself. So uh, without any further ado, the discipleship square. So we basically have four steps. And uh, step one here is what we would call um, unconscious incompetence, okay? unconscious incompetence. So um, it sounds uh, blissfully ignorant and that's because it is, but like step one, when you're just starting something or this is the beginning of the journey and there's a lot of excitement, there's high enthusiasm. In fact, part of this, we could even put the word high here because there's high enthusiasm and there's high confidence and there are great expectations about how this is gonna go. I mean, we're gonna take the hill, okay? So there are also some aspects about step one that we could even say are low, and that has to do with low competence and low experience. Now, again, step one is a, largely about, I don't know what I don't know, but I'm excited, let's go for it. So everything's going well until we get to step two, okay? Step two uh, now is uh, what we're gonna call conscious incompetence, okay? So conscious incompetence. So I don't like step two and I don't like the feelings of step two because what you're feeling here is you could just use the word low to describe everything. Like enthusiasm is like low and confidence is low. And of course, experience and competence themselves are low. This is the stage that everybody just gets depressed at. And in fact, there are differing responses to step two. One of which is, I'm out of here. <laughs> like. I don't need this and uh, someone else can figure this out because I've got better things to do with my time. Uh, so that's like one way of dealing with step two is just to full on quit. Sometimes we remember what it was like back here uh, when it was high enthusiasm and, and high confidence and we want to go back to that place and revisit it and kind of hang out. Uh, unfortunately, that's not really possible. Because once you've come here, like you've seen things about yourself, you've seen things about how, th how the world should be. And so coming back here is just like trying to go back to first grade. And it might feel good for a little bit, but uh, long term, it's not really going to work. So uh, this is where we want to pace ourselves. This is when we need grace from God. Like we just need to know, hey, I'm on the right track. Uh, we're moving in the right direction, but man, this is no fun. But again, here, stay put and submit to this. You, we want to submit to this and to walk through this step completely and with integrity so that we submit to the learning process, okay? So step two is conscious incompetence. Step three, okay, we could say is conscious competence. Okay. So while this step is enjoyable, no one can really stay here. Like there's no way you can stay here and do any kind of a journey. But step two, that again, this is the low point. But step three, like 
things are actually beginning to move a little bit. You're beginning to see some shifts. We could put the word growth here because you're seeing some breakthrough. Now, we're not sailing yet, but it's like all of the muscle memory that you've been wanting, there's a little bit that's actually starting to develop. And uh, it's actually a little encouraging, but there is no peace and no relaxing in step two because you gotta think about everything that you're doing all the time. And the moment you uh, relax, things begin to fall apart, okay? So, but this stage is all about growth. And then we come over to step four here and uh, we're gonna say unconscious, unconscious, Competence. This is where we all want to be. And uh, most of us, I don't know about you, but I would like to go from here. And as soon as I see step two, I want to come here. I don't want to deal with this. And I don't want to deal with that. And frankly, I really don't like this. Everything I do, I'd rather it be here. This is when you're the master artist. This is when you have mastered the skill you know the discipline, you now understand the rules of the game, and it's working. In fact, it's working so well that it's coming up out of you, and you don't have to struggle that much because you know what to do. You've been through step two, you've been through step three, this is it. This is where we wanna be, and you're doing what you're doing, what you're doing without hardly thinking about it. So we could put the word high here, because by every metric, enthusiasm, uh, confidence, experience, and competence, you're high. Everything is where it needs to be. So, again, this is the discipleship square. and This material is borrowed. It's not original with me, but I have found it to be generally helpful in making sense of what's going on in my world, especially when I'm starting something new or I'm having to learn a new skill and there's just no getting around it, that there are some things we really need to kind of submit to and just be patient with ourselves and we need grace from God to uh, go around the square. And this is where we want a church full of people like this. But I guess that's a little bit unrealistic, but we want a church where these things are happening, where we're all moving around uh, the square. So I hope this has been of help to you. I know it has been uh, to me, but uh, anyway, thank you for your time.